Hey y'all, welcome to B's Intuition. I'm B, and I'm back with another general collective energy message. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I do cuss and I do tell the truth. So if you don't like either one of the two, then you probably should move on. I've already prayed over the cards and the energy, so we're just going to hop in and get this message. Please remember to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe, especially to those of you that are viewing the channel but have not yet subscribed. You don't want to miss out on the messages that God has for you. Also, please remember to take what resonates only and leave the rest for whoever it's for. Every message will not be your message. So, with that being said, y'all, let's hop in. So, somebody is going to receive a sign. Um, this could be a sign as far as like, um, you know, somebody psyching themselves out, you know, and, and they're going to receive a sign that lets them know that, you know, what they're thinking is true or what, you know, they're hearing is true or, you know, um, yeah, I just heard seeing is believing. So something could definitely happen and it could be in the form of a sign being sent to somebody, um, you know, or this could be, you know, like. If somebody, you know, prayed, you know, for an answer, I feel like somebody's going to receive a sign or, you know, this could be an unexpected sign. Like some, maybe somebody didn't pray for an answer, um, but somebody's still going to receive some type of sign. But I feel like whatever this sign is, uh, somebody is going to know that it comes straight from the most high or that, you know, this that it's 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 a message from the most high or, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. This could be, you know, like a shooting star, you know, uh, this could be, um, you know, like, like a person, somebody could just be, you know, watching TV or watching something on social media and they get a clear answer of, you know, what they've been praying about. So whoever, you know, is resonating with this message, I feel like just, you know, continue to have patience, you know, if you were looking for a sign, um, those of you that weren't looking for a sign, you know, I feel like that, uh, because the most high knows our heart. Um, I feel like that, yeah, somebody also, could also receive an unexpected sign. So let's hop in. Holy Spirit. We got woman holding a coin. Somebody could be 42 years old. Somebody could own a black cat. Oh, omen. So something about an omen. You know, like uh, when you see a black cat, it's bad luck. Don't walk up under the, the stairs um, because it's bad luck. So somebody could believe in omens. I'm going to look into omen real quick. It says an event regarded as a portent of good or evil. It says the uh, omen is a is an occurrence or phenomenon believed to portend a future event. So yeah, some type of omen. Somebody could uh, yeah, something about an omen, pretty much. Um, you could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or have a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo in your chart. Mm -hmm. The color red and purple could be very significant. This card is giving me like uh, the privileged lady. So there's a privileged individual out here. Um, I feel like who I feel like whoever this person is, um, it's kind of like short lived. So whatever you know they they were living this privileged life on or off of, I feel like yeah, it's short lived. So this could be like you know a trust fund baby, you know what I mean? And they didn't spend up all the money, or you know this could be like yeah somebody that was left you know. Uh, some type of inheritance and then unspend up all the money or something like that because yeah with omen you know what i mean people look at omens as bad luck but you know some omens you know are a sign of good luck for somebody yeah they possibly have already seen some type of omen and they possibly feel like that that's why they're going through bad luck or they've already done something you know what i mean like came across a black cat or you know um found a penny with a hole in it or you know I don't know I'm just saying um, but you know there's many omens you know that people believe in um, yeah they're considered myths so 
Mm-hmm. But something about the past. Because this uh, woman holding a coin card is a 42, which breaks down to a 6. Somebody could have jaundice of the skin. Well, not really of the skin, but like you can see that uh, something's going on. Like somebody could have jaundice about their eyes. Their eyes could be yellow. So somebody could have some type of health issue um, that could be going on. And it definitely could have something to do with like their skin or it could have something to do with like their liver. Because when your eyes are yellow, it's it, 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 it's a... Uh, one of the reasons it could be is a uh, liver deficiency. Mm -hmm. Wow, we have Archangel Raphael. Heart chakra. Archangel Raphael is definitely uh, protecting somebody. So, whoever you know this message is for, uh, you could, you know what I mean? Um, you could, you know, follow Archangel Raphael. You know what I mean? Um, that could be one of your ascended masters. Somebody could be 38 years old. Yeah, somebody has a heart of gold. So somebody's a giver more than they're a receiver. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for somebody, yeah, somebody could come across an angel like they can see an angel you know in like a physical form this could be an earth angel mm-hmm for some of you for others of you yeah uh, somebody could just um, you know uh, like when they're standing in a the mirror they could see something you know pass you know by them or behind them while they're standing in a mirror you know and they look back and there's nothing there or you know uh, this could be yeah like um, somebody that has already passed away, you know, and somebody could be, you know, just say in uh, Publix and uh, yeah, somebody feels like that they saw the person that had passed away. You know what I mean? We got the Caring Connections card. The month of November is very significant. So something could take place by November. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody definitely does have a heart of gold. And it's kind of like, you know, every connection, you know, that they have, whether it be a friendship, you know, a love ship, a family ship, a business ship, you know, a work ship or whatever ship. I feel like the yeah, somebody puts a lot into those ships, you know, so it, it could it would be unconditional love. So, yeah, somebody shows unconditional love, you know to everything you know that they you know uh uh put into or everything that they share their energy with or everything you know that they give their time to is what i feel like for somebody mm -hmm. i feel like yeah somebody definitely has put in a lot into some type of caring connection this could be a caring connection that somebody you know has now or this could have been you know like a past because this woman holding a coin is a 42 which breaks down to a six mm-hmm Wow. Wow. Yeah. But I feel like, yeah, something has changed. Like somebody's heart has changed. You know what I mean? Because uh, this uh, Caring Connections card is a 14, which breaks down to a 5. So uh, number 5 is all about change. And if we're talking about Archangel Raphael, uh, you know what I mean? Uh, basically, yeah. Protecting the heart chakra. It's kind of like, yeah. Archangel, uh, right, I mean, excuse me, it would be that, yeah, somebody could be, you know, no longer feeling the same way about somebody now. It's kind of like, yeah, I've given everything to that person, you know what I'm saying, and it's time for me to move on, or I've done everything I could to help this person, you know, it's time to move on, you know. I've built this business up, you know, to the point to where, you know, um, it's time to move on. I just heard a stalemate, so somebody could have a stalemate. There definitely could be a caring connection that could be coming somebody's way. Mm-hmm. When this first, when this card just flipped over, I, I, all I heard, all I saw was empath. So 
So somebody could be an empath, but that literally is one of the 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 traits of an empath is empathy. So somebody definitely yeah could be an empath. So that's why yeah I was picking up the heart of gold energy. Mm-hmm. There's somebody that possibly is is trying to see if somebody's open to seeing both sides of some type of situation. But I feel like yeah somebody is. Somebody's definitely going to try to play on somebody's empathy. But I feel like because somebody could be an empath out here, I definitely do feel like that somebody's going to be able to see right through it. This could be, you know, like somebody trying to pitch, you know, something to somebody. You know what I mean? But this is after somebody, you know, has zero flux to give. This is after, yeah, somebody's feelings and emotions have changed. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, yeah, after somebody has walked away from the job, they want to call back and be like, yeah, well, we got this uh, position open. You know what I mean? But it's but it but but the position, you know what I mean, could be, you know, lesser than the position that somebody walked away from. Or, you know, this could be, you know, like, uh, yeah, I want to I want to start this new business, you know, like somebody's old business partner. You know what I mean? That somebody yeah walked away from. Yeah, I want to start this new business, but. The first business wasn't even lucrative, you know what I mean? It wasn't, you know, you didn't really profit off the first business, you know what I mean? Less than on, you know, uh, creating a second business. That's why somebody walked away. Mm-hmm. Or the fact of the matter is, yeah, somebody knows that, yeah, I, 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 I had a, you know what I mean, pour in 80% into the first business and it went nowhere pretty much, you know what I mean? And so, yeah, why would I be a fool, you know what I mean, to pour in 80 more percent into a new business, you know what I mean? And it... it and yeah, it not go it, it doesn't go anywhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got stand your ground. So somebody uh Yeah. I feel like somebody is, is being uh told to stand their ground. So going back to yeah, somebody, you know, possibly trying to pitch somebody something or you know, somebody um you know, trying to bring this idea or, you know, somebody possibly, yeah, trying to come back around, you know what I mean? After they possibly ghosted somebody or after, you know what I mean, they disappeared, you know, maybe not even ghosted. Maybe they just disappeared. Because um, I feel like whoever this person is, they're possibly, yeah, going to want to tell, you know, their side of the story or, you know what I mean? Uh, they're going to want to convince somebody that, yeah, you should believe, you know, um, you should believe, you know, um, what I'm telling you because, you know, this is what I've been going through or this, you know what I mean? And I feel like, yeah, it's kind of like whoever, you know, is resonating with this message again, because you are an empath, you know what I mean? Um, or because you're just a very, you know, empathetic person. I feel like the, yeah, they're trying to play, they're going to try to play on your heartstrings or this could have already taken place and you've already stood your ground. You know what I mean? For some of you, this could have already taken place. And you, yeah, you stu stood your ground. For others of you, um, yeah, this is going to take place and you're going to have to stand your ground. Uh, the month of July is significant. July the 14th is significant for somebody. Uh, 2014 could be significant for somebody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because it's all about trust. Somebody definitely, yeah, could be trying to um, get uh, gain somebody's trust back. But I feel like that uh, they possibly, yeah, are going about it the wrong way. Or they're going to go about it the wrong way. Yeah, somebody's also being asked, yeah, to trust their, trust, trust their intuition. You know what I mean? Yeah, somebody possibly could have to make a head over heart decision. There's also, yeah, somebody that chose money over, you know what I'm saying, love as well. Or something like that. Or maybe that's a decision that, yeah, somebody's about to have to make. As far as like, yeah, do I choose, you know, a relationship for money or do I choose a relationship uh, for love? Or that's what somebody, you know, has done. And yeah, so it goes back to, yeah, for somebody, somebody or, you know, a couple of people or what have you. Yeah, somebody's going to come back around, you know what I mean? And act like, yeah, you can trust me this time. But this is somebody that then already showed somebody that, yeah, they'd rather choose a relationship uh, when it comes to money over, you know what I mean? Uh, a relationship when it comes to love, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just heard buying love. 
So whoever this person is, maybe, yeah, they bought love in the relationship that they were in. Or this is somebody that, yeah, thinks that they can come in and buy somebody's love. Maybe it worked before, you know what I mean? But but somebody ain't dumb, stupid, or slow, you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, yeah, if somebody didn't catch it in the beginning and they catched it after they walked away, of course, yeah. If this person is trying to buy love, it's not going to work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But going back to the energy that I was picking up as far as uh somebody psyching themselves out. Yeah, somebody's being asked to trust, you know, in, in their inner voice. You know what I mean? Basically, yeah, except that their inner voice will always guide them correctly. Mm-hmm. But it's kind of too, like, yeah, um, there's somebody that, yeah, they want somebody to trust them. It's kind of like, um, yeah, but it's, but it's just words, like words and no action. So I feel like, yeah, somebody's being asked to be patient or asked to have, yeah, patience. Double patience. Mm-hmm. Wow. Let's keep those out there. Why is this uh, woman holding a coin here? Mm-hmm. The commitment card came out. So, I mean, uh, the woman holding a coin in the tarot deck will be a queen of pentacles. And the queen of pentacles will be the most likely queen to be married in the tarot deck. So, yeah. So, somebody could be married. Possibly, yeah, trying to come in, you know what I'm saying, to, yeah, try to act like they want to put some a ring on somebody's finger. That's for some of you, not all of you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody, somebody definitely uh, could be, you know, just like focusing on their career, though. So somebody, and I feel like uh, whatever somebody does, you know, I feel like that it, 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 it demands a lot of time and attention, you know what I mean? This could be, you know, just somebody's whole life, you know. I just heard interior decorator, so somebody could be an interior decorator. Um, somebody could be a clothing designer. Somebody could be a makeup artist, hairstylist. Somebody, yeah, definitely could be a spiritualist because I was picking up on the black cat energy uh, with the empath energy. Um, or somebody, yeah, could just uh, wear, you know, multiple hats. Mm -hmm. There definitely could be a lot of, you know suitors you know what i mean that could be looking somebody's way and maybe yeah somebody's just focused on uh you know their finances but i feel like it is you know a certain person you know that's looking somebody's way and i feel like whoever this person is it's kind of like uh and it, and it doesn't have to be love but because this commitment card out is out here it definitely is one of those things love is you know but this again could go back to yeah like a ex-business partner or you know what i mean a ex-friend you know uh yeah ex-job mm -hmm. but somebody yeah uh somebody i feel like even though somebody you know could be you know like you know focused on you know their their career focused on you know um wearing the hats that they wear you know um, I definitely do feel like the yeah, somebody still hasn't given up on love or yeah, that's what somebody doesn't need to do is give up on love. But going back to yeah, psyching, uh, psyching oneself out, it's kind of like, yeah, maybe somebody, so that's where the sign is about to come for somebody. So whatever this sign is, I feel like the yeah, somebody doesn't need to be fooled. Let's be clear. So... Yeah, something is like whatever is about to be pitched to somebody, it's going to look good. You know what I mean? Um, and I feel like it, it probably, you know, is going to look like that it's everything, you know, uh, that somebody could wish and dream for, you know, um, it, you know, but I feel like that that's not the sign. You know what I mean? A sign doesn't come in materialistic form when it comes from the most high, you know. Like before you receive a check, you're going to know that you're going to receive that check. So it's going to be some type of sign that lets you know that, yeah, a blessing is about to come. And so maybe somebody has already received that blessing. Maybe that's why that patience, I mean, that sign, maybe that's why that patience card was there multiple times. So I feel like that, yeah, 
Some of you, you've already received some type of sign, you know what I mean? And you're just uh, having patience, you know what I mean? But for others of you, you're going to receive a sign. Um, but I feel like that, yeah, whatever this is, it's going to be, you know what I'm saying, brought some to somebody or, you know, whoever this is, it's coming towards somebody. I feel like that, yeah, they could be married already for somebody. And if it's not that they're married already, it's it's kind of like, yeah, we've already tried this before. We've already been ga engaged before. And yeah, I took the ring off before, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we Before the third month hit, you know? Uh, this could be, yeah, I've already tried, you know, um, this job or, you know, it's something about, um, yeah, already doing something. So something about the past. Mm-hmm. But it's kind of too like, yeah, because um, I'm picking up the energy that for somebody, um, there was a situation in the past, you know what I mean, where, you know, uh, things were supposed to go a certain way, but they didn't. And so for somebody, yeah, that could be coming back around. You know what I mean? Like, even if it's a past person, it's kind of like, yeah, they could be awakened and ready, you know? Mm-hmm. Wow. Something about the full moon. Y'all see uh, behind this person's back, it's the full moon. So something about the full moon in July. So something could have taken place during the full moon in July. Mm -hmm. That could have been, yeah, when somebody got, uh, you know, some type of sign. For those of you that have already received some type of sign and you're waiting. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. While somebody, yeah, has been committed, you know what I mean, to you know, uh, their life, you know, <clears throat> in a positive way, uh, you know, uh, those that, you know, have uh, remained committed, you know what I mean, to their spiritual journey, they've remained committed to, you know, self-love, self-worth, you know what I mean, they've remained committed to continuing to gain wisdom and knowledge, I feel like the, yeah, there is a blessing that, yeah, has somebody's name on it, why is Archangel Raphael here? That's way too many. Mm-hmm. Yep, there's somebody that, yeah, somebody that wants somebody to take them back. This definitely could be somebody that, yeah, somebody was engaged to. If this isn't, this is some, this is somebody that's married. And if they're not married, uh, they possibly, yeah, could be getting a divorce. Or, yeah, they're going to say that they're getting a divorce because the ring is still, you know, on the finger. Even though it looks like it's being slid off. Mm-hmm. In this scenario, because really you can't tell if uh, if the ring is is being slid off or if the ring is being put on. Mm -hmm. So it's not about yeah, somebody you know possibly being engaged multiple times or you know what I'm saying, even being married multiple times. Archangel Raphael. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah, Just dry spell. So, something about a dry spell. So, yeah, re. So, yeah, ghosting, reappearing, um, you know, uh, yeah, so I feel like whoever this person is, yeah, they ghosted somebody. Or, yeah, they're trying to make a reappearance in somebody's life, whoever this person is. Because this, this card is the dry spell card. They're putting the clothes in the dryer, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, the clothes will be getting dry. Mm-hmm. Something is getting drier and drier. So it's something about, yeah, something basically, yeah, is getting uh, more and more boring or more and more stale or something like that is what I'm picking up. Because, you know, like a bag of chips, you know, the more and more that they sit open, the more and more drier that they get. Yeah, you know what I mean? They dry up. And so, yeah, they become stale. It's also, too, something about, yeah, like somebody's age. 
So somebody, yeah, could be feeling like that they're getting older or it's something about, yeah, people getting older. I mean, we do have 42 and 38 out here. But I'm also picking up, too, something about, yeah, somebody being washed up. So somebody is a, a has-been or was-been, you know what I mean? And, yeah, I feel like that whoever, you know, this message is for, you, what, you, 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 you know what I'm saying? You was that, you was him or her, you know what I'm saying? You're still him or her, him, him or her, if that makes any sense. It's like, yeah, you were the ish back then, you're the ish now, you know what I mean? And you're going to be the ish moving forward. But it's kind of like, yeah, something about somebody being dried up, washed up. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, so, something stale. Something needs to be thrown away. Or that's literally, yeah, what somebody has done. Somebody, yeah, definitely could have thrown away a ring. Or something about, yeah, somebody losing a ring. This don't have to necessarily be like a wedding ring or an engagement ring or anything like that. Yeah, it could be in the dryer. Or, you know, somebody could have, you know, put it in their pants pocket and, yeah, washed it. So it could be in the washer or the dryer. So if somebody was looking for a ring, there you go. Mm -hmm. It's 9-11 on the clock So you could be seeing uh, the angel number 9-11 But I did pick up on uh, September 11th energy I think in the message yesterday So yeah so, Something about yeah September the 11th Something definitely could take place for somebody On September the 11th Mm-hmm Somebody, yeah, somebody's over some type of commitment. Again, this could be, you know, a commitment when it comes to, you know, a job, a person, a place, a thing, what have you. This could be, yeah, somebody overly committed too. So it's something about, yeah, somebody being overly committed. So, yeah, somebody basically, yeah, poured a lot into something or someone or some place or something more than it, it poured back into somebody. You know what I mean? Mm hmm but that's the nature of whoever you know this message is for you're you know the the selfless individual you know what i mean you're the un unconditional love shower you know what i mean you're the empath you know what i mean you're the empathetic one you're the compassionate compassionate one you know what i mean and so yeah so people base that off of you know what i'm saying people base let me let me re-say that so yeah that's people people know that when it comes to you people know that you're not that you're empathetic people know that yeah you're caring and you're you know you show unconditional love and yada yada blase blase so that's why i keep picking up the energy that yeah somebody needs to be careful because there is somebody that wants to play off of somebody's empathy or somebody wants to play off of somebody's you know you said that you love me unconditionally you said that you would never leave me but I swear that that was the person that ghosted or, you know what I'm saying, disappeared or whatever they did. Whatever they did. It's kind of like whoever this person is. It's kind of like, yeah, because we've done this multiple times. Uh, yeah, I can come back. You know what I mean? They'll be fine. You know what I mean? They'll 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 take me back with open arms. You know what I mean? Uh, I'll be right back in their bed. Or, yeah, if I call them and, and tell them I want to give them their job back, they'll come running back. Um, but I feel like, yeah, this time is different. So maybe, yeah. All these times, you know, somebody was, you know, in their uh, operating in their south node, you know, somebody was just in a different, you know, what I mean, a different uh, time in their life, you know, what I mean, maybe when, you know, that took place. But I'm also picking up too that, yeah, I feel like somebody, yeah, definitely gave somebody an inch and they took a mile, but somebody, yeah, did have love for whoever this person is. Why well, is this carrying connections here? I feel like somebody still has love, you know what I'm saying? But like the feelings and emotions, you know what I'm saying, is 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 it's is uh it, it it they 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 shut off or something like that. Or yeah, somebody just doesn't feel the same. So it's kinda like, yeah, I love them from a distance, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. I'll I'll you know what I'm saying, I'll I'll show empathy from a distance, you know, I'll show compassion from a distance or whatever have you. You know, like, yeah, I'll give them, you know, a spiritual hug. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what have you. I feel like whoever this person is, they've been trying to communicate with somebody. This definitely could be spiritually, you know, or energetically. So, like, yeah, this person could literally, you know, uh, be like energetically trying to hug somebody or trying to stay attached to somebody. And it's kind of like, yeah, maybe somebody, you know, could feel it. You know, they don't feel it no more is what I feel like. Mm-hmm, because it's something about that stand stand your ground. It's yeah. 
somebody done tapped into, you know, some type of power. And I feel like, yeah, it's that self-love, that self-worth. Mm-hmm. But yeah, be aware because whoever this person is, yeah, it's it's kind of like um, they're coming in, you know, and, and they, you know, getting ready to, you know, uh, pour on, you know, pour, you know, pour out the, 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 the fine wine, you know what I mean? And bring the greatest hors d'oeuvres, you know, and they going to be trying to rub somebody's feet or give somebody a massage. And I'm just using that as an example, because with this commitment card, with this, um, dry spell and this being served, it's kind of giving me like, yeah, I'll do anything. But I feel like whoever this person is, yeah, they done already did anything over there. If that makes any sense. Yeah, this is being served. You got served. Somebody, yeah. So somebody definitely could be getting served. Divorce papers. Mm-hmm. There, there, it could be a mask and energy that could be serving somebody divorce papers. But this is also, yeah, serving somebody a piping hot cup of tea or a hot, piping hot cup of coffee. So it's something about, yeah, information. Mm-hmm. I feel like, yeah, somebody does a lot. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, yeah, whatever commitment that somebody, you know what I mean? Yeah, somebody, um, if somebody starts, whatever they start, they finish it. You know what I mean? Somebody is, yeah, is a get her done or get get him done, get her done type of individual. Mm-hmm. Something about being catered to. Somebody could be a caterer. Mm-hmm. It's something about, yeah, being domestic. Something about somebody's home. Somebody definitely could have, you know, like, could keep up their home very, very well. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. But, yeah, y'all see how that person, they have gray hair, and it looks like that they're kind of, you know what I'm saying, older. So, something about, yeah, somebody being older, somebody definitely could have gray hair, you know what I mean? Somebody definitely, yeah, could be like 38 with gray hair, 42 with gray hair. I mean, that would be getting older, you know what I mean? Not necessarily saying that, yeah, you're old at that age, because, no. But, yeah, people just get older. They they change when they, you know, uh, hit certain ages. But I still, like, I still feel like, yeah, somebody's still going. The fact of the matter is, yeah, somebody's still going to have some type of love commitment, even, you know what I'm saying, as they age. So it's kind of like, yeah, somebody's 42 years old. Yeah, if, if somebody still needs to have faith, you know what I mean, or somebody still needs to be patient. But I feel like that uh, somebody's really not worried about it, you know what I mean? Somebody's just focused on, you know, what they need to be focused on. But they still, yeah, in their, in their mind somewhere, in their mind, yeah, they still have that there. Somebody, but I feel like, yeah, deep down inside... You know what I mean? In the back of somebody's heart. Yeah, somebody knows that eventually it's going to take place. And so for somebody, yeah, somebody's about to receive some type of sign, you know, that it, it that it is. Or somebody has already received some type of sign. And maybe, yeah, somebody just didn't know that it was a sign, you know what I mean, that they should have been paying attention to. So, yeah, maybe somebody is being told, yeah, to pay attention to the signs. Hello, we're trying to, we trying to communicate with you. But this isn't uh, love for everybody, you know what I mean? This has this definitely could have something to do with like a business, you know what I mean? Uh friendship, you know, family ship, home ship, you know what I mean? It doesn't necessarily have to be about love, you know. This could be, you know, just like a soulmate, you know what I mean? And yeah, it's 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 no, you know, intercourse involved, sexual intercourse involved, but it's but it's you know what I'm saying, everything else, you know? Um And that's for somebody, you know, not everybody. Why is this empathy card here? I've just seen Divine Feminine. So uh, you could be a Divine Feminine. Or this is about a Divine Feminine. Or yeah, uh, whoever this person or whoever this is amongst the other people could be watching a Divine Feminine. Give me one for this empathy. fell on the floor so yeah some something something definitely is going down this is the meet me in the mall it's going down meet me in the club it's going down mm-hmm 
Wow. So yeah, somebody definitely yeah could have been committed to yeah somebody that um yeah somebody that don't do nothing, pretty much, but gossip and shop. Mm hmm. It's two. It's it's two um different. It's it's like money and love out here. But it's like one the the love is is coming up as an angel. Like the the one that's the woman holding the coin is just yeah a a woman in physical form. But it's like uh for uh, Archangel Michael is giving me like representation of like yeah uh, an earth angel. You know what I mean? Even though Archangel Michael is an angel, but y'all know what I'm saying. And then we have clearing connections. So it's something about yeah. Somebody, yeah, possibly it's giving me like a two of pentacles energy in the tarot deck. So somebody, uh, yeah, had two choices and they, yeah, they possibly chose to commit, you know what I mean, to, to one. Or the fact of the matter is they didn't even commit to that one. It was just, you know, for, um, it was just for benefits or it was just, you know, for convenience or something like that. Maybe, yeah, somebody somebody looked at, you know what I'm saying, whoever, you know, this message is for, like an, uh, you know what I'm saying, like an angel. Um, or, yeah, something about being an angel in disguise. So, uh, for somebody, yeah, the sign that is about to be shown could be for to the, op, to the other person, for somebody. Um, so, they're going to be shown a sign that, yeah, somebody was an angel in disguise. It was sent, they were sent to them. Mm-hmm. But it's kind of like, yeah, whoever this person is, I feel like that, yeah, they, they shared, you know what I'm saying, more with uh, whoever this earth angel is than they did uh, with this woman holding the coin. And I'm talking about like emotionally, you know what I mean? Like opening up, you know what I mean? And if that's not the case, yeah, moving forward uh, for 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 the one or the, the couple of people that, yeah, a past person, you know what I'm saying, is coming back around. Um, and it, and it, yeah, they're possibly being divinely guided with Archangel Raphael or being divinely guided, both of you to come together and meet for some way, uh, for some reason. Yeah. I do feel like that, um, it's going to be, yeah, they, they're, they're going to open up. I feel like they're, whoever this, whoever was, uh, whoever was, uh, this person was, um, committed to. I feel like that, yeah, they didn't open up to this person. It was simply about money or it was simply about sex or it was simply about, yeah, uh, the the look. You know what I'm saying? The appearance. You know what I mean? Or something like that. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, whoever this is, they dry and washed up. So it's something about whoever this person is, yeah, they ain't doing it anymore. But I feel like that whoever this is, the one that I'm picking up on, that yeah, somebody needs to be um, suspicious about. Yeah, it's kind of like yeah, well they dry, they washed up. You know what I'm saying? They ain't, they ain't got shit popping. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got yeah, they ain't got no action. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got no no nothing going on. Let me go back over there. You know what I mean? To divine feminine, divine masculine. Let me go back over there to that earth angel and see what they got going on. Yeah, but whoever this person is, they think that they got it in the bag. You know what I mean? It's something about, yeah, this person knowing that they're going to get the unconditional love that they possibly, yeah, kicked, spit on, you know what I'm saying? If not, yeah, they just left it sitting on the curb, you know? And they, yeah, ghosted the unconditional love, you know what I mean? <laughs> wow. Mm-mm. Wow. Bag lady, you gon' hurt your back. Dragging all them bags like that. Mm-hmm. Somebody's name could be Erica. Yeah, somebody is an impact out here because Erica Badu definitely is, yeah, one of them. Mm-hmm. But something about, yeah, a lot of bags. Somebody, yeah, whoever this person is, they come with a lot of baggage. Or the person that they committed to, yeah, basically, yeah, they get, they got a lot of baggage. But I feel like whoever this person is, they possibly knew. It was something about, yeah, the look or, you know what I'm saying, the money or the, the, the fame. It's something about why this person committed to this person. But 
it's kind of like, yeah, it's it's gone. It's washed up. It ain't no good. It ain't no more. You know what I mean? And so, yeah, it's kind of like, let me, yeah, that bag of lays is, uh, it's, it's stale. So let me go, you know what I'm saying? Let me go, uh, you know, buy a new bag and see, you know, what I can get out of that. It's giving me like victim energy. So, yeah, somebody definitely needs to be careful. But it's something about, yeah, this person trying to come in. Let me serve you. Let me cater to you. Let me, you know what I'm saying, do this to you. Let me do that for you. You know what I mean? Only for this person, yeah, to feel like they have it in the bag. To possibly, yeah, treat somebody the same way that they've already treated somebody in the past. Uh, Re-ghost somebody. Re-disappear, you know. Or, yeah, talk to somebody, you know, uh, with no disrespect. Or, you know, uh, treat somebody like that they are not worth nothing when yeah somebody knows exactly what their worth is so yeah for somebody for some people yeah you're gonna have to stand your ground yeah the past card wanted to come out mm -hmm. whoever this person is they could be near somebody like they could be close or yeah something is closer than somebody thinks Why is it stand your ground here? But I definitely do feel like the yeah, there is a uh, ooh wee, mm hmm, there is a, a a caring connection. You know what I mean? That is is either being divinely guided somebody's way. Or, you know, it's kind of like, yeah, two people being divinely guided to meet. Mm -hmm. The number 14 is very significant. So uh, somebody, yeah, could have known somebody for 14 years or yeah. Somebody could be born on the 14th of the month. Somebody definitely, yeah, could be a cusper. But this is, yeah, rewriting, uh, rewriting destiny being rewritten. I wanted to say history. Every time I see this card, it it, it 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 wants me to say rewriting history. So for somebody, yeah, somebody definitely could be rewriting history. You know what I mean? This could just be, you know, with what somebody got going on in their life. This could be, you know, when it comes to like a caring connection. This could be, yeah, like getting married. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But it's something about, yeah, somebody, you know what I mean, bringing in some, yeah, like using their words, you know what I mean? Like trying to serve somebody, you know what I'm saying, mouth, lip service, you know, thinking that they, yeah, are going to have it in the bag. For somebody, yeah, this changes somebody's destiny. If somebody decides, you know what I'm saying, to, to deal with whoever this person is, when, when, yeah, they know for sure that the Most High has told them, Eh, wrong answer, you know what I mean? It's a no for me, doll. You know, uh, yeah, I feel like it's it's gonna change things, and not for uh, not for you know somebody's good, and that's why I feel like yeah, this stand your ground is here. Mhm. Mm but something about yeah, that full moon. So something about the full moon in July, it definitely did some stuff. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like yeah, if somebody had to stand their ground in July. Or, you know, if somebody had to stand their ground when it comes to, you know, like, um, their beliefs. Because the stand your ground card is a number seven. So, you know, somebody life path could be a life path number seven. But that's about spirituality. So, yeah. Somebody, yeah. If somebody had to stand their ground when it comes to, you know, their beliefs or even their morals and values or whatever, I feel like that, yeah. Uh, somebody, you know, did a good job or they're continuing to do a good job. It's something about, too, yeah, psyching somebody self out. So for those of you that, yeah, you could be empaths or, you know, uh, you know, you could be spiritualists. You don't have to, you know, be a tarot card reader, but you could read tarot. You know what I mean? Every person that reads tarot, every person that has spiritual gifts don't, you know what I'm saying, use cards or whatever have you because a lot of them don't have to. Um, but, um. Yeah, I feel like that uh, don't psych yourself out. You know what I mean? Trust your intuition. Trust what you know to, you know what I'm saying, to be true. Because it is. You know what I mean? That's what the Most High gave it to you for. So, yeah, use it. But be aware because, yeah, somebody's going to try to play off of it for sure. Mm-hmm.
But it's kind of too, like, yeah, this stand your ground card is giving me, like, I'm already ready. You know what I mean? I already know what's up. Wow. But it's kind of too, like, yeah, whoever this person is, they think that, you know what I mean? They have something in the bag. They think that, um, yeah, well, I can just say this or I can just do that. You know what I mean? Even if I come in with a ring, I come in with a ring. You know what I mean? I'll clean up the house, you know. I'll cook dinner, you know. I'll serve them breakfast in bed. I'll take them shopping, you know. I'll do whatever I got to do. You know what I mean? But, it, but it's, but it's kind of purposely. I feel like, yeah, whoever this person is, that sneaky energy, yeah, it's kind of like purposely fully being done so yeah somebody definitely needs to be aware of whoever this individual is somebody could be like a server somebody could uh like be a barista mm-hmm yeah i'm really picking up yeah like a selfless being out here for sure. I'm also picking up something about a spiritual marriage. So somebody, yeah. Somebody definitely, yeah, could have. So somebody, yeah, like has some type of spiritual co uh, connection with somebody. Because that's what this uh, Archangel Raphael with the current Connections card is giving me. Yeah. With this being served for somebody, yeah. This person has already been served, yeah, like spiritual divorce papers or something like that. But somebody definitely, yeah, could be being served like physical divorce papers. And so, yeah, that or, you know what I mean? Yeah, somebody's, if it's not the one that's being served, it's the one that, yeah, could be, yeah, doing the serving. Either way it goes, I definitely do feel like that whoever this is, it's kind of like, yeah, because for somebody, somebody has already been married or something like that. Somebody's going to try to, you know what I'm saying, like manipulate somebody, you know what I mean, to be open to both sides. Well, you was married before. You know how this works. But no, um, when you're married, you don't have two people or, you know what I mean, you, you, you don't get married just for, you know what I'm saying, the money or just for, you know, the fame or just for whatever, you know, somebody, yeah, convenience. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's for somebody, not everybody. But I feel like the yeah, whoever this is, it's kind of like um, somebody could be of Asian descent as well. But I feel like whoever this person is, yeah, it's they're gonna lay it on thick because yeah, they want to make sure that they yeah get it in the bag. You know what I mean? They want to make sure that yeah they can walk out of the door. You know what I mean? It's like yeah, it feels like yeah somebody's shopping. So whoever this person is, yeah, they've already shopped before, and that's why they yeah they ghosted somebody or disappeared on somebody. Baby, use a window shopper. Mad at me. I think I know why. Yeah. Somebody's a window shopper or something about, yeah, whoever this person is, yeah, they done lost. They, but I feel like either, yeah, the person that they were committed to is washed up. They ain't, you know what I'm saying? They ain't talking about nothing. And so, yeah, they're going, moving on. It's next victim, please, is what I'm picking up. So somebody definitely needs to be aware of whoever this person is. Because I don't like the fact that, yeah, they're looking at people as victims. Maybe this person, yeah, maybe this person is realizing, you know, that they're getting older in age. And, you know, maybe now they want to settle down. But I feel like, yeah, something is already taking place. It's kind of with the destiny being rewritten out here. It's kind of like, yeah, divorce, uh, spiritual divorce papers have been, you know, served. Or, you know, some type of cord has been cut. You know, the ties have been severed or something like that. And on top of that... Yeah, somebody don't feel the same. Somebody's heart is not in it. Somebody, you know what I mean? Yeah. Somebody, yeah, definitely could look at it like ill. They washed up. Ill. You know what I'm saying? It's something about, uh, yeah, somebody's like, no. It's a no for me, dog. It's going to be a no. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but for somebody, um, even if somebody's no is a no, it's kind of like because Archangel Raphael is out here, um, something... Two people, you know what I mean, still have to, you know, come together to do something. And it could be, yeah, to to make history in some way, shape, form, or fashion. But this is giving me, too, like, power couple energy. So, yeah, somebody could be, um, could come, you know what I'm saying, come together with, like, you know, a soulmate. You know what I mean? Again, it doesn't have to necessarily be in love. 
You know, I mean, a power couple usually yeah, is like two people that are married, but it's giving me like power couple as far as like, yeah, two people coming together to change the world or two people coming together to, you know, build, you know, a, a legacy together. But, you know, they're not married, you know, uh, they're just, yeah, soulmates. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we have the creating illusions card. So somebody definitely needs to be aware because, yeah, somebody's creating illusions, but this is like fake love. So, yeah. So, somebody chose fake love over real love. Mm-hmm. Wow. Somebody definitely, yeah, could be trying to track somebody down. Somebody definitely could have been trying to track somebody down since March. Or something about, yeah, good luck charm. Because this is giving me, like, good luck charm. Mm-hmm. Somebody, yeah, could be looking for somebody's car. Or something about, yeah. It's something about, yeah. Ah, so somebody's looking for somebody based off of, so this is a past person. S somebody's looking for somebody based off of, you know, like the car that they used to drive. Or somebody could be going to, you know, the home that somebody used to live at. Or, you know, going to the job where somebody used to work at. Mm-hmm. Possibly, yeah, going to places where somebody used to hang at. You know what I mean? You uh, know, all, all the while, yeah, somebody is, that. that's not that person anymore. Somebody, yeah, has, you know, it's kind of giving me like, yeah, grown up or matured or, you know, just lives a different life. So, yeah, somebody ain't hanging out at, you know, Starbucks anymore. Somebody ain't going to the mall every weekend anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah, somebody, somebody's rewriting destiny. It's giving me two, like, generational curse breakers. So, yeah, somebody's too busy over there breaking generational curses. Somebody's too busy over there, you know, being a, a activist in their community and standing, you know what I'm saying, standing up for what's right and, you know, all type of stuff. Mm-hmm. So for this person to, yeah, be going back to, you know, places, past places from the past, you know, this could be 14 years ago. Yeah, it, it, that further, you know what I'm saying, let somebody know that whoever this person is, yeah, <laughs> they need to stay far away as possible. Woman holding a coin uh, with this commitment card. Loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. Somebody could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a dog. Mm -hmm. Somebody's very balanced when it comes to their uh, feminine and masculine energy. But somebody definitely, yeah, could be in their masculine energy. Mm -hmm. Y'all see how this uh, dog got, it, got its tongue sticking out? You know, it's kind of like, yeah, a dog in heat. Somebody's dog could be in heat, but it's kind of like, yeah, somebody, somebody definitely could have been committed or, you know what I mean? Could have been in a commitment or, you know, could have, um, even been married, but you know, yeah, they were doing other things. So maybe that's what this person was trying to do to somebody else. And somebody was like, nah, it's a no for me, dog. You know what I mean? Or the fact of the matter is, yeah, maybe once, you know, somebody found out that this person, you know, had some type of commitment going on somewhere else. Uh, yeah, this person possibly, you know ghosted somebody out of fear you know disappeared on somebody out of fear or the fact of the matter is for somebody yeah somebody's gonna find out some stuff so it goes back to yeah somebody um receiving an unexpected sign mm-hmm wow yeah somebody's the chaser out here nothing but the dog in roof bow wow wow yeah the dog chases the cat. So masculine energy chasing a feminine energy. And then we have the cat at the top of the deck. Mm-hmm. And it's something about, yeah, somebody being loyal when it comes to, like, you know, reaching out to somebody or when it comes to... So it's something about, yeah, whoever this person is, they possibly could be reminiscing, you know, about how somebody used to be. So it's kind of like, yeah, whoever this person is, they're basically, yeah... They're stuck on what, what, what was or what used to be. You know what I'm saying? Not what is. They don't know what it is. Because, yeah, I feel like that they don't know the, the the new version of somebody. Or the fact of the matter is, yeah, they could be, you know, um, 
They could just be, yeah, banking. <coughs> if this person, if, if somebody told this person, like, I'm not, you know what I'm saying, the same person. You know what I mean? Even if somebody didn't tell this person. Because for somebody, yeah, somebody or some people haven't communicated with whoever this past person is. <coughs> uh, Yeah, other people could have told this person, like, yeah, you don't want to go over there to Divine Feminine Divine Masculine. Because they, they not the same. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're not the, the gullible individual that you possibly thought that, the, that they were, you know, in the past. So, yeah, they stand their ground. You know what I'm saying? They say what they mean and they mean what they say. And, yeah, this person was probably like, ah, they do that to y'all. They ain't going to do that to me because, yeah, they're loyal to me. You know what I mean? They said that they were going to be there for me, you know, and, and through thick and thin or whatever have you. Yeah. But I feel like this is somebody that, yeah, could have already been in some type of commitment. And so they should have been looking for that loyalty, you know what I mean, to from the person that, yeah, they were in a commitment with. But unfortunately, because they were they chose to be in a commitment, you know, for convenience or whatever they chose to be in it for. Yeah, they didn't get it from, you know, what I'm saying that person. And maybe it's kind of like now this person, you know, they want it because it's giving me like, yeah, somebody was a cheater. Somebody, you know, wasn't loyal, you know what I mean, to you know, uh, the commitment that they were in, you know, and if this is somebody that, you know, wasn't married or, you know, in a commitment, you know, with another commitment, you know, like a third party, if this person was just, you know, dealing with you in whatever way, shape, form or fashion, yeah, I feel like that they, they were acting like that they were committed, but they wouldn't, they, they definitely had their tongues hanging out, you know what I'm saying, they definitely, yeah, every, every booty and boob that passed them, they definitely, yeah, was drooling, but it's, but it's, but too, it's kind of like whoever, you know, is resonating with this message, whether you're a masculine or feminine energy, it's kind of like, yeah, there are a lot of people, you know what I mean, that uh, that are looking at you, you know what I mean, for many different reasons, you know. They, they feel like that you're mysterious, you know. Somebody could be looking at you, you know, for your beauty, you know. Somebody could be looking at you, you know, and trying to figure out, you know, what type, how much money you got. Or, you know, just looking at you as an ATM, you know, automatically their money, you know. Uh, but there is somebody that's looking at you like royalty, though, for sure. Mm-hmm. There is somebody that, yeah, is being divinely guided. Or, again, it's two people being divinely guided to meet, you know what I'm saying, at a certain point. And, yeah, it's, it's, it's royalty out here. Wow. Archangel Michael with this uh dried up stale. Mm-hmm. We got the excluded card. So <clears throat> mm hmm The fact of the matter is, yeah. Uh whoever you know this message is for even, you know, um, when, 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 when you weren't, you know, accepted or, you know, when you were ghosted or, you know, yeah, you possibly still, you know, allowed somebody, you know, to, to come back around or you still allow somebody to communicate or, you know, it goes back to, yeah, even though, you know, uh, the job is washed up or even though, you know, you tired of going, you know, you got to go get that money, you know, you know, you got to go get that bread. And so, yeah, I feel like that, um, even if you felt excluded, you know, like don't nobody like me over there anyway, you know. Uh, they, they think I'm weird, you know what I mean? They think, you know, whatever, yeah. I feel like that uh, you still continue to go. You still continue to show unconditional love. You still showed emotions or whatever, but it's kind of like, yeah, now you're not. And then on top of that, it's kind of like, yeah, it, it, there's a lot of people that could be, you know, like looking at you or just a lot of people in general that, yeah, they're, they're washed up. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got nothing going on. This could be just people around, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, yeah, one of the reasons why people could be excluding you is because, yeah, they're washed up and you not, you know what I mean? But y'all could all be the same age. It's kind of like, yeah, they chose to do this and you chose to do that, you know what I mean? They chose to, you know, um, be gullible and naive. You chose to stand your ground, you know? Uh, they chose to, you know, get into commitments, you know, for the uh, convenience or whatever they chose to get in commitments uh, for. You chose to uh, uh, remain loyal, you know, to your spiritual journey or you, you chose to remain loyal, you know, uh, to, to you. Mm-hmm. Wow. So I feel like the year, there is a blessing that uh, got somebody's name on it. And I feel like that, yeah, either somebody has already uh, been shown a sign that it's on its way or somebody's about to be shown a sign. You know what I mean? Mm -mm. I don't know why 
because I keep looking at this um, woman holding a coin, and y'all see how uh, they're holding they're holding a coin. Yeah, somebody definitely could be of Asian descent because it's like Asian uh, language on that coin. But something about how this person is holding their fingers and everything, I don't like it. It's it's kind of giving me like yeah, uh, cult. So I don't know. I don't know. Why is this carrying connections here uh, with this? You got served. Mm -hmm. Somebody, yeah, somebody could look 38 years old, 42 years old, and yeah. <laughs> somebody definitely, yeah, could could look like, yeah, they're, that they're fret 18, you know what I'm saying, soaking wet. Mm-hmm. While somebody else over there, you know what I'm saying, is the same age and they got gray hair, you know what I mean? They, yeah, their their weight is, is, is getting out of hand and things of that nature. And no offense, you know, to those uh, people, you know what I mean? But, 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 yeah, I feel like the people definitely were, it's kind of like people could be whoever they wanted to be. But when it comes to, you know, whoever this message is for, yeah, you had to be this, you had to be that, you know? Yeah, they 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 tried to exclude you for a reason. But again, you you stood your ground. Again, you kept, you know what I'm saying, uh being loyal and staying focused to, you know, what mattered. Yeah, not the naysayers. Why don't you chill with some beef and get some chicken instead? Yeah. Washed up. Mm-hmm. There's a water sign involved, so Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. That could be the person that's washed up. Somebody's mama could be washed up. Or something about, yeah, somebody being a mama's boy is also what I'm picking up. Or even a mama's girl. Or a daddy's girl, you know what I mean? Because that's what that uh, woman holding the coin is giving me. Like, yeah, daddy's girl energy. Like, I'm privileged, you know? And maybe, yeah, that's why somebody chose whoever they chose. Mm -mm. It's something, too, about, yeah, somebody, yeah, because somebody, you know, is, is on the path they're on, I feel like, yeah. Somebody's being excluded from some stuff, but in a good way. So it's kind of like, yeah, uh, while people were trying to like separate somebody, you know what I mean? Yeah, it kind of it kind of worked in somebody's favor. It's kind of like, yeah, somebody basically yeah, is being being set apart from from those. So like, yeah, somebody somebody's over here in their innocent innocent group all by themselves, and it's a whole group of guilty people. And I'm not saying guilty of a crime, but you know what I mean. Guilty of, yeah, fake love. Guilty of, you know, um, yeah, it's kind of like 90% and 10%. Guilty of, yeah, hopping up in relationships or commitments just because of money or just because of this or just because of that. But there is somebody that thinks that they have it in a bag. They think that, yeah, if they can manipulate somebody to think that they didn't have anything to do with some type of beef, yeah, then they can, yeah, be able to walk through the door or whatever the situation is. Mm-hmm. Wow. There are people that, yeah, they're soaking. It's something about them the, uh, them being all up in their feelings. It could be a feminine energy. And it's because, yeah, somebody's being excluded. Um, excluded from the beef. But also excluded, you know, from, um, yeah, like a group. So I don't know. I don't know. But whoever this person is that's being served, they want, yeah. They want some beef. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There is somebody that, yeah, they said that they love somebody, but yeah. They didn't do nothing because a whole lot of chaos happened to pandemonium. This could just be, you know, like in the relationship, in the friendship or whatever ship. Or this could be they cause a whole lot of chaos, have to get pandemonium in somebody's life. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, but this person basically has excluded themselves. They don't stay detached. So it goes back to, yeah, like if somebody had a spiritual connection, yeah, it's, it's severed. Or, yeah, if somebody was spiritually married to somebody, yeah, ain't no more. Because, yeah, somebody definitely, yeah, try to stay attached to, you know, like an earth angel. But then, yeah, be involved in all this beef. And, and I feel like the, yeah, whoever the earth angel is, whoever, you know, this message is for, you you felt it. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, yeah, you could feel some stuff. And so I feel like the, yeah, maybe you stood your ground and was like, yeah, get on because I don't got time for that shit. You know what I mean? It's something about this person trying to stay attached, but then also, you know, um, like stay attached over there and then stay attached over there. Yeah, the two of pinnacles energy, but like, yeah, straddling the fence as well, you know? So somebody wants beef with somebody because they ain't got served. This could also too be, you know, uh, this could be, yeah, like getting served, you know, like I just heard an EPO, so emergency protection order. So somebody could 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 be getting served or emergency protection order or something about, yeah, an EPO. Um, somebody, yeah, somebody definitely could be whatever whatever paperwork it is is coming from the courts, and somebody wants beef. But it's kind of like, yeah, this person can't blame you. We got excluded. It's not about, yeah, this person being washed up. And whatever whatever they got going on over there is what they got going on over there. It's kind of like, yeah, whoever you know is resonating with this message, whatever you found out, yeah, that's why you could have told somebody to get on before, you know, you get spit on. So you could have found out that, yeah, this person has somebody else. You know what I mean? Uh, you could have found out that, yeah, this person, you know, they're trying to stay attached to me. You know what I mean? But they, you know, are also, you know, attached to a karmic. So with that being said, if, yeah, if you're in path, you can feel. So, yeah, that could have been messing up, you know what I'm saying, your mojo. You know what I mean? And so, yeah, you had to, you had to clear that out of your, you know what I'm saying, your energy. You had to, yeah. And so I feel like whoever this person is because, yeah, you've released them or you've cleared them out of your energy. Here they come. Empathy with, with got it in the bag. There's also somebody that yeah plays like that um that they poor or pay plays like that they um uh it's kind of like yeah playing on people's empathy. So whoever this person is, I feel like because they're washed up, I don't know what washed up means. Maybe they can't get a job. You know what I mean? Maybe they can't. You know um but I. Yeah, somebody's calling somebody washed up, but they're not. Somebody's just getting started. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, that could be a sign for somebody. So if somebody, yeah, was, uh, you know, psyching themselves out, you know, I don't think I'm doing the right thing or I don't think I'm doing it the right way or whatever have you. Yeah, you just getting started. Don't worry about it. You definitely going to receive a sign to let you know that, yeah, you doing exactly what the most high wants you to do. Nothing more, nothing less. And whoever it is is talking shit. You know what I'm saying? They going to have their day. Everybody got to have their day, you know, even those that, that don't think that they uh, are going to have their day because sometimes, you know, I'll be watching YouTube and I just, um, you know, what I'm saying uh, be watching uh, spiritual messengers, you know, or tarot card readers or whatever have you. And they just be talking, 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 talking. And in my end, you know, what I'm saying I don't say nothing. I don't comment. I don't do none of that because at the end of the day, I don't want I, I don't want. That's why I don't have my comments open because I'm not going to go and, 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 you know what I'm saying, say something that I don't want to be said to me, if that makes any sense. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I, I keep my peace. You know, if I got to say something, I talk to God about it, you know. But it, it, it amazes me is how these people, they talk about people. You know what I mean? These are people that say that they work for God. And, and, and then they use the excuse of, well, I ain't already all the way there yet. Or, you know what I mean? God knows my heart. Yeah, but 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 because you sit up here and talk about people, especially those that are, you know what I'm saying, uh, doing the work that the Most High has put before them, there ain't no way, shape, form, or fashion that you think because you say that they're not of God that that's true. You know? That's left up to the most high. And so, yeah, those are the people, you know what I'm saying? People like them that, you know, are on this high horse or, yeah, like this privileged lady, this woman with a coin, but I'm picking up privileged lady energy, you know what I mean? I'm privileged, you know, I got the ring or whatever the situation is. Uh, I'm privileged, my daddy is whoever my daddy is or, you know, uh, yeah. 
it's kind of like, yeah, those are the people that think that they don't have their day. You know, the people that, you know what I mean, uh, think that they got this great relationship with the Most High. You know what I mean? It, 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 it's all it's all good until, yeah, the Most High has to show them, like, yeah, we do have a relationship, but you can't just be talking about people, you know what I'm saying, that you don't know about, you know? And it don't matter if you got spiritual gifts. I, I don't like a person with spiritual gifts trying to size up other people, you know what I'm saying, that have spiritual gifts. But that's why, yeah, those people only, they, they stay stagnant, you know what I mean? They, they, yeah, but they'll get, they'll get behind the camera or they'll get on camera and act like that they're so happy and, you know what I mean, they, they're moving forward, you know, they got all this going on, they got all this motion going on, but they really don't, you know, but they'll be the first one to get and talk about other people, especially, you know what I'm saying, like, other people that do the same thing as them. Now, there are some people that, yeah, they are not of God, but guess what, the devil always shows himself, so it don't take somebody getting on uh getting on their youtube channel or getting on you know their patreon channel or getting on you know uh their tiktok channel or getting on whatever channel that they got whatever platform they got uh to basically yeah call somebody out or tell somebody you know uh yeah i know that you ain't this i know that you ain't that no you know what i mean there's nobody that has you know that uh, that much power to you know be able to yeah Talk about people in the way that I hear people talking about people is sad. And then on top of that, they're laughing. You know what I mean? That's not that's not the God of heart. People say that they, you know what I'm saying, are a man or a woman after God's own heart. Not sitting around talking about people on a, a platform that, you know, thousands of people watch you on. That's not being a, you know what I'm saying, a follower of God's own heart. And my bad y'all i didn't mean to rant but that that just yeah it, it just kills me because it's kind of like yeah there's people you know what i'm saying there's there's yeah small small things in big packages you know what i mean but it's kind of like yeah people um uh, let me just keep going where was i at why is this uh empathy here with this uh got it in the bag y'all just keep going you know what i'm saying whoever you are just keep going Somebody could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Somebody definitely could be uh, going on a trip. Or something about, yeah, somebody. Um, mm hmm. There goes that love triangle. Mm hmm. But that's also, yeah, the getting flued out card. So, yeah, there could be somebody that could be getting flued out. If, if somebody, yeah. If people, you know, if there was a rumor going on around, uh, I mean, going on, going around as far as like, yeah, how somebody gets their money. Yeah, people could have been lying and saying that, yeah, uh, you know, somebody was getting flued out, you know, uh, somebody, you know, yeah, there were men or women that was, you know, flying somebody out and giving them money to do this or do that. Uh, that's for somebody, not everybody. But it's also whoever this privileged lady is, yeah. I feel like that that literally could be one of the things why somebody else could be, you know, wanting to leave them or wanting to leave the commitment. Because they, yeah, they, they found find out some stuff. But it's piping hot. And, it, and it's too, it's kind of like, yeah, whoever this person is, yeah, they, they, they got beef. So I feel like that they possibly got beef with the person, but they also got beef with other people. Because I feel like that, yeah, there's other people that were involved. Uh-huh. But yeah, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So yeah, somebody, somebody's very balanced. Mm hmm. Somebody could be seeing the angel number three, three, three a lot. But this is a love triangle. But this is also with that. However, the hands are on that card and this triangle. It's giving me like yeah, somebody is a part of something. Mm hmm. If somebody, yeah, was trying to blame somebody for some type of third party or some type of love triangle, yeah, somebody's being excluded. Mm-hmm. So it goes back to, yeah, either somebody didn't know something or, yeah, somebody could have found out something. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, they got another commitment or they got somebody else, you know? And, uh, yeah, somebody was like, it's a no for me, dog. Or, yeah, somebody didn't know. And, yeah. So, yeah, so uh, there could be, yeah, whoever this person is, they could be, yeah, basically clarifying, like, yeah, they didn't know, you know what I mean? I didn't tell them that I was married, or I didn't tell them I was in a, in a commitment, you know? 
Mm-hmm. Wow. Something about, yeah, somebody having a loyal heart. Stand your ground with this uh, rewriting destiny. Mm-hmm. But also, too, yeah. Uh, somebody definitely, yeah, needs to stand their ground because I feel like something, somebody wants to... Somebody somebody wants to come back around or something about yeah trying another angle. So yeah, somebody's gonna need to gonna gonna need to stand their ground. This definitely could be somebody that yeah, either put somebody in a third party or yeah, somebody didn't tell somebody, or somebody's not gonna tell somebody that yeah, they're in you know what I'm saying they're already in a commitment. So I feel like yeah, somebody just meet, needs to be aware of whoever this person is. Um but yeah, somebody's mad, 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 plas mad. Mm-hmm. So we got, why don't you sit with some beef and get some chicken instead? Yeah. With the Mad Mad, Plies Mad card. Mm-hmm. Somebody could be Egyptian. We did see that flued out card. So something about, yeah, Egypt. So somebody, yeah, could get flown out to Egypt. Or, yeah, somebody, uh, somebody could, uh, literally, um, yeah, travel to Egypt, move to Egypt. For somebody. Mm -mm. Yeah, somebody definitely could have legal matters because that's what's at the bottom of the deck. And we did, and I was picking up on, yeah, um, that you got served. And then we got the wish card at the bottom of the, I mean, when I split the deck. So, yeah. 11-11, make a wish. wish. So, you could be seeing 11-11 on the clock a lot. For somebody, yeah, this could be a twin flame. And so, yeah, it would be, yeah, somebody being loyal to the twin flame journey without the other twin flame. Um, You know what I mean? Loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. Yeah, we got bad choices. So yeah, somebody, somebody, yeah, they made bad choices. Um, they possibly, yeah, was loyal and committed to somebody that, yeah, made a lot of bad choices. The fact of the matter is, I feel like that there is somebody that possibly, yeah, wants some empathy. It could be whoever this, it, it's a feminine energy. So it's kind of like you were married before, you know how it is, but yeah. It's two different mindsets because it's kind of like, yeah, somebody wants somebody to be open to see both sides. And I feel like, yeah, somebody somebody is is open to seeing both sides. But it doesn't mean that somebody, you know, um, that somebody uh, agrees, you know what I mean, with, with, with the other side. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, somebody definitely, yeah, made bad choices. And so whoever this is that made bad choices, it definitely could be a feminine energy. I definitely do feel like that, yeah, a lot of people are going to find out, you know what I mean, with this shocking news. Mm-hmm. It's also, too, something about, yeah, um, somebody, you know, going back to the very beginning of the message when I was talking about, yeah, somebody focus, you know, on, on you know, their life and, you know, uh, you know, self-love, self-worth, you know. I feel like it's because, yeah, somebody has basically, yeah, realize you know that they made bad choices when it came to love you know what i mean when it comes to friendships business ships or whatever ships and so yeah somebody possibly yeah had to take a step back you know and reevaluate themselves mm -hmm. but somebody yeah possibly yeah realize that they basically did make bad choices in the past when it comes to like you know love possibly when it comes to yeah showing you know unconditional love you know, to conditional minded people. You know what I mean? Archangel Raphael. Yeah. Game is over. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If somebody was trying to play some type of love games, it's over. There definitely, yeah, could be, you know, like, if you're a feminine energy, there could be a masculine energy. Or if you're a masculine energy, it could be a feminine energy. That, yeah, 
uh, could be marrying the same experiences or something like that. I feel like that's the person that, yeah, is being divinely guided to come towards somebody. Or, yeah, two people are being divinely guided to, to meet. Mm -hmm. We got a divorce at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there goes that past person. So, yeah, I feel like whoever this person is, they could be a past person. If it's not a, a past person, yeah, somebody, yeah, is just going through some type of divorce. This is possibly, yeah, the one that, yeah, two people are going to meet, you know what I mean, to be divinely guided. But, yeah, there's also a past person out here that, yeah, they could have been in a commitment and they're getting a divorce. Somebody definitely needs to be aware, yeah, of some type of dirty offer. Or this person took some type of dirty offer. You know what I mean? It's something about, yeah. Mm-hmm. Why is this current connection here? Ah, we got an impersonator. So there, yeah. So this is somebody's copycat. This is a wannabe. So somebody got a wannabe out here. They wants to be like you. They act like you. They dress like you. They copy you. They look like you. Mm-hmm. So somebody, yeah, could have got into some type of commitment with somebody like that or the fact of the matter is yeah whoever this person is you know maybe they yeah have made some bad choices and decisions when it comes to you know looking for you and a lot of people i feel like yeah if that's the case then oh man they done got themselves wrapped up you know mm -hmm. wow Whoever this impersonator is or whoever this person is, they definitely do, yeah. They they want to serve somebody some 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 drama. Or they're trying to bring some drama towards somebody's way. And so, yeah, and it definitely could have something to do with this divorce. It, it also this could also be the person that's trying to bring some type of dirty offer somebody's way. Wow, we got bank failure. So somebody, yeah, could be filing for bankruptcy. Mm hmm. So it goes back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, somebody could be losing. You know what I mean? Somebody, yeah. Uh, somebody could, you know, could have had a lot of money. Somebody could be, could have been a trust fund baby and they don't have the money anymore. Somebody, yeah, could have been left, you know, some like an inheritance and they don't have the money anymore. Somebody don't have a job, you know, or yeah, they're just codependent. Mm hmm. Yeah, so I feel like, yeah, somebody's going to have to uh, stand their ground. I feel like somebody is in this stand their ground energy, but I feel like, the, yeah, because somebody thinks that they already have something in the bag, it's kind of like, yeah, or the fact of the matter is they feel like, yeah, if they can manipulate somebody to take this dirty offer or to do whatever it is that they want somebody to do, then yeah, everything will be straight. You know what I mean? I can get them to do this and yeah, I'm on my way. So yeah, I feel like somebody needs to be aware. Yep. You could be in this unbothered energy for sure. And if that's the case, then yeah. Stay in this un un unbothered energy. But it's something about, yeah, because somebody, you know what I'm saying, is going through some type of financial woes, uh, relationship woes, bad choices, woes, whatever woes, you know what I'm saying? They up in beef, woo -woo, yada, yada. Yeah, they're mad because it's kind of like, yeah, you don't care. Mm-hmm. I feel like, yeah, um, whoever this person is, it's kind of like, hmm. <laughs> They should have did something when the, when they had, you know, somebody's feelings and emotions, you know what I'm saying? Or when, yeah, somebody feels a certain way. It's kind of like, yeah, you don't get to turn somebody's feelings and emotions on or off. I feel like, yeah, you've already turned them off by your actions. Clearly. Roger's bad choices here. Yep. Yep. And so, yeah, somebody made a bad choice or decision to watch some, some shit go down. Yeah. So they, they saw something, but they didn't say anything. But it's also, too, something about, yeah, because this unbothered energy is out here, it's kind of like, yeah, you could be, yeah, watching shit go down from, from a distance. Or, you know, you could be, you know, like, uh yeah, watching some shit go down spiritually, you know. Or you could just be feeling it and you know, you know what I mean, that some shit's going down. But it's something about some gossip because at the bottom of the deck it says it's join the gossip. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, there is somebody, you know what I mean, uh, that basically, yeah, possibly, yeah, 
saw something, heard something, but never said anything. Yeah, they were just enjoying it. It was kind of like whoever this person is, they were getting a kick out of, yeah, somebody being talked about. So this could literally be, yeah, the person, you know what I mean, that thinks that, yeah, if, if they just bring this or do that, they got it in the bag. That person could have been gossiping about somebody. They washed up, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, they done been married multiple times, you know, and, and yeah, they, they divorced and, you know, yeah. They they've been loyal to people that wasn't loyal to them, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. Cause with this being served, and then why don't you chill with some beef and get some chicken instead? Yeah, gossip. Mhm. Mm oh, oh. So there is somebody out here that yeah. <laughs> they telling somebody like it is. So it's somebody that yeah. Maybe, yeah, whoever this uh, so-called privileged lady is that's codependent as hell on other people, that makes bad choices, you know what I mean, that likes to play love games. I feel like that whoever this person is, that possibly, yeah, is divorcing this person, yeah, they're telling them like it is. I feel like whoever this person is, yeah, basically they're telling this person like, yeah, you want to be the earth angel or you want to be the divine feminine, and divine masculine. You know what I mean? Or you, you act like them. You dress like them. You, you, you want to look like them. You know what I mean? You go get your eyebrows done just like them. You get your hair just like them. Your nails just like them. You know what I mean? Yeah, you even impersonate them. They're, they're a real empath and you're not. You know what I mean? They're a real spiritualist and you're not or whatever the situation is. Or the fact of the matter is this person could be, you know what I mean, a, a spiritualist. You know, they could have spiritual gifts, but they possibly, yeah, because bad choices is here, they don't use them, you know what I'm saying, correctly. Or they don't use them at all. So, yeah, they could be being stripped of their spiritual gifts for somebody or for some of you. Game over. We got workplace affair. So somebody could have some type of workplace affair. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of gossip that was going on. I feel like, yeah, it was just, you know what I mean? You know how uh, people, you know, they just gossip, you know, to make themselves look like they, you know, they're all this and that, you know, and, and uh, somebody else ain't or, you know. Uh, basically, yeah, gossiping to get attention or gossiping, you know, so people can look at that, uh, look at them, you know, well, they got all the tea, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. And it could have literally been, yeah, gossiping for attention because it goes back to, yeah, somebody wanting empathy because, yeah, uh, somebody wants somebody to be open to, you know what I'm saying, both sides of the story. It's kind of giving me like, yeah, there's the, whoever this feminine energy is, they possibly, yeah, want to uh say tell their side of the story but then it's a masculine energy so i feel like the yeah whatever whatever was going on as far as yeah like watching shit go down or whatever you know what i mean i definitely do feel like the yeah um some stuff was supposed to take place or some stuff did take place and so it definitely could be yeah that people don't want you know what i mean it's kind of like people don't want um to get in trouble for some stuff or something like that is what I'm picking up. This impersonator gives me like, yeah, going to the point of, yeah, like stealing ideas or, you know, even, you know, for somebody, yeah, stealing identity and all type of stuff. This could be, yeah, with the bank failure, you know what I mean? Like, uh, like trying to hack into somebody's uh, bank accounts or, you know, uh, setting up, you know, fraudulent bank accounts. It's, it's, it's some stuff. It's, it ain't just, you know, about, you know, tri love triangle and, you know, people making bad choices and people gossiping, you know. Mm -hmm. If somebody was lying and saying that, yeah, somebody had a workplace affair, mm -hmm. lies. I feel like, yeah, there was a lot of gossip. Yes. People definitely could have been lying and going back to, yeah, somebody being flewed out. People definitely could have lied and said, yeah, somebody got flewed out all the way to Egypt. And you know what they was doing in Egypt, don't you? You know? And they know, and somebody, yeah, they ain't, they ain't never been to Egypt before. You know? When you look at somebody's um, passport, it don't have Egypt nowhere on the passport. Why is this impersonator here? Yep, we got fake flexing. So yeah, there's somebody that acts rich. They they floss money. They act fancy. Yeah, they're a show off. 
Mm-hmm. But it was it came out in the reverse. So I feel like that, yeah. Whoever you know this message is for, you don't have to act. You're not an actor or actress. I mean, you could, but you ain't, you know what I'm saying? You ain't putting on, you know what I mean? You ain't doing it for the gram, you know? You, know? you ain't stunting for, you know, uh, those, you know what I'm saying, around you or whatever. You're not acting rich. You're not flossing your money, you know what I mean? You're not acting fancy, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, the difference between you and them is, yeah, you rather get money try to flip you something, you know what I mean? You could be you could flip houses or you know what I mean? Yeah, you could take your money, you know, and 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 you know, invest it, you know what I mean? So yeah. Triple it, you know what I mean? Quadruple it or whatever have you. Yeah, can't nobody tell you nothing. So it so whoever, yeah. Whoever, you know, uh this person is, I feel like the yeah, everybody can tell them something. That's why they're in the position that they're in because they were listening to, you know what I'm saying, a lot of other people. And it goes back to whoever this woman holding the coin is. I feel like, yeah, somebody, whoever this is, they're trying to tell somebody some stuff. You know what I mean? So they're so they're trying to basically, yeah, um, tell somebody about somebody. And maybe that's what happened. Whoever this person is, they were trying to tell somebody about an earth angel or, you know what I mean? But, yeah, they don't know nothing about the earth angel. The fact of the matter is, whoever is coming somebody's way, yeah. I feel like either this person knows. I don't feel like it's a past person. I feel like it's 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 yeah, a caring connection. So there's somebody possibly yeah, like the person that somebody was in a caring connection with is gonna try to tell, yeah, an earth angel, or divine feminine, divine masculine about the person. Or it's vice versa. But it's kinda like it ain't gonna do nothing but make it worse for them. Cause it's kinda too like, yeah. Somebody incriminating themselves or incriminating other people is also what I'm picking up. This is uh, crazy. Yeah, we got ignoring. So, some, yeah. So, it's kind of like, yeah, if somebody or people are already doing that, you know what I mean? This could be, you know, just like multiple people, you know? Or this could be, yeah, just like people gossiping, you know what I mean? But like if you're a feminine energy, yeah, they're gossiping, you know, to mask an energy is about you. Or, you know, if you're a masculine energy, you know, there, there gossip, there's feminine energies gossiping to other feminine energies about you. But, yeah, it's going through one ear and out the other. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The fact of the matter is, yeah, that's exactly what they're doing. Trying to look up dirt or dig up dirt on you or something like that. Or the fact of the matter is, they've already done it. And, and it's not working. So, yeah. Whatever they were doing as far as, um, you know what I mean, to try to make it look like that. You basically, yeah, you wasn't shit. Well, no, you was the shit. The shit that come out of the cow's ass or the shit that come out of the hippo's ass. Yeah, you're basically excluded from all of that. So, yeah, whatever whatever the gossip was, it wasn't true. Yeah, so be aware of this fake apology. Bank failure. Yeah, this is giving me with this bank failure. And this, yeah, Ponzi scheme. So something about, yeah, schemes and scams. Yeah, somebody was scammed. Somebody, yeah. I don't know, yeah. But the fact of the matter is, somebody needs to be aware because, yeah, uh, somebody definitely could be trying to scam you. But it goes back to what I was picking up. I don't even know if I finished what I was saying. Yeah, somebody's mind is all over the place. But, yeah, there's somebody out here, you know what I mean? It could be whoever this woman holding the coin is. So they're walking around, they're acting rich, they're 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 flossing their money, they're acting fancy, they're they're trying to show off, but it's by yeah, scheming and scamming. It could be, yeah, like them going on social media, you know. My cat just passed away, you know, and I'm looking and I you know, I just need donations, guys. Um you know, I don't know what I'm going to do, you know, but the fact of the matter is they forget, you know, that uh, they, they posted that video and then, the, yeah, they post the video with their cat sitting right by them on, you know what I'm saying, uh, in the chair, you know, type type shit after, yeah, they've already got $500, you know what I mean, for, for saying that their cat passed away. Or this is somebody that, yeah, they would get flued out, you know what I mean, and they would allow strange things to take place for some change, you know, um, but this is the person, you know what I mean, that basically, yeah. Was, was sitting back, you know, enjoying the gossip, enjoying the lies, only to, yeah, for people to find out that that's this person's real life, you know? 
Mm-hmm. Now shit's hitting the fan. Yeah, people want to run away. Or somebody, yeah, somebody wants to get a divorce, you know? Because, yeah, the, their shit stinks, you know what I mean? Because, yeah, their 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 life is being exposed. Exposed, yeah. They 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 want to run away. They want to get a divorce. Yeah, somebody feels like a jackass. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the fact of the matter is, yeah, somebody took some type of dirty some type of dirty offer is what I feel like. And yeah. They allow their ego to get in, in in the way of a relationship. Yeah, because they stayed attached to a karmic. So it's not about, yeah, the scheming and the scamming. So I feel like, the, yeah, whoever, you know, is resonating with this. And this this could be, you know, a divine masculine or so they say. Because here goes the divine masculine. Yeah, they're going through karma with this firestorm. And it definitely has something to do with, yeah, them finding out that, yeah, they were with a Jezebel. But I'm also picking up, too, that, yeah. Whoever, you know, is resonating with this message, yeah, I feel like that you're about to watch some shit go down. And maybe, yeah, the sign was already given to you to, yeah, get the fluck out of the way. Uh, get yourself over there in the shelter, you know what I'm saying? Because it's a storm a coming, you know? Unbothered. And so that could be why somebody is in this mad, mad, plasmad energy. Somebody could be from Florida. Uh, but it's because, yeah, um... It's kind of like, yeah, somebody cared in the past. Somebody would help all the way down to, you know, where do I need to take the money or what do I need to do? Who do I need to call? You know, what do I need to do to make it happen? And yeah, like somebody's like, I don't give a damn. I'm focused on me, which that's how somebody should be, you know? So yeah, I feel like that, yeah, somebody focusing on themselves is also showing, yeah, teaching a lesson. But yeah, while somebody's in this unbothered energy, yeah, there's a situation that's about to explode. Shit's about to pop off. Uh, some shit is going up in flames. Yep. And it's something about, yeah, some scheme, some scam. And so, I feel like, the, yeah, somebody was scamming a lot of people, scheming and scamming a lot of people. But, yeah, some whoever this is, they were involved in some way, shape, form, or fashion. They definitely, yeah, could have schemed and scammed, you know, whoever this message is for. Mm-mm. But yeah, we got the uh, we got the ghosted card at the uh, top of the deck, and so yeah, this is somebody that yeah definitely could have ghosted somebody. This is somebody that yeah somebody possibly had some type of off and on situation with, yeah. And this is definitely somebody that yeah is tracking somebody, looking for somebody. Mm hmm. I feel like whoever this person is, yeah, they done, they done caused some beef behind the scenes, you know what I mean, amongst a lot of people. So it's kind of like, yeah, there could be a lot of people that could be looking at whoever's resonating with this message like you're an issue, you're a problem, you know what I mean? So there could be people that, yeah, they want some type of beef, but it's but it's fake beef. Mm-hmm. But whoever you know this message is for, you definitely could be crying tears, uh, tears of joy, you know, here soon. Yep. Your peace and happiness is definitely about to be, uh, is being restored. Yep, you could be, uh, 30 to 40 years old. Or somebody in this situation could be 30 to 40 years old. something about a movie so i mean somebody definitely could be an actor or an actress or this is like yeah it's like somebody's life could be a movie or something like that or it feels like it mm -hmm. but yeah some type of cord has been cut so um you yeah whoever you know this message is for you could have cut uh, cut cut some type of cord or going back to yeah somebody marrying somebody so yeah that person could have cut some type of cord yeah we have cold hard facts, or so somebody has cut uh, cut some type of cord because of some cold hard facts. Mm hmm. And yep, somebody definitely needs to, you know, establish firm boundaries. If somebody has already established firm boundaries, they need to make sure that they, yeah, they're 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 firm because somebody definitely is trying to, you know, come in and figure out somebody's weakness, or they're trying to, yeah, 
But I feel like somebody thinks that, yeah, they know somebody's weakness. Somebody's an empath. So somebody knows when people are trying to play on them. Somebody knows, you know what I mean? And yeah, somebody can have empathy, you know what I mean? But I feel like whoever you know this message is for, you done came a long way, you know what I mean? To to go backwards. You done came a long way to to, to let somebody uh, think that you're a punk pussy pushover. Because that's what the some of the gossip was about. Saying that you was a punk pussy pushover. I can go back over there anytime I want to, you know what I mean? Well, I'll call them today and they'll come back to work and they're going to work 12 hours today, tomorrow too, you know? So we got we got Archangel Raphael out here, but we got Archangel Ariel as well. So yeah, whoever you know is resonating with this message, you definitely could have a lot of Archangels, you know what I'm saying? Archangel protection. Um, but yeah, Archangel Ariel is bringing in spiritual and physical blessings. So... I definitely did pick up at the beginning of the message that, yeah, somebody has a blessing with their name on it. Mm-hmm. We got New Year's Eve. So something about New Year's Eve could be very significant. So something could take place by New Year's Eve. But we have uh, the letter H. So somebody's first mother last name could start with H. But everybody knows what they did. So everybody knows what this feminine energy did. Or everybody knows what a masculine energy did. Or they could be like a group of people. Um, but everybody knows what they did. Mm -hmm. Something could have taken place on New Year's Eve. You know what I mean? If that's the case, then yeah. Everybody knows what they did on New Year's Eve. It's something about, yeah, somebody showing somebody fake love because with this current connections and this impersonator, it's giving me, the, yeah, like a uh, fake love. You know what I mean? But something about, yeah, a fake divine counterpart. Yeah, it, the game is over. Whoever this is, you know what I'm saying, they want, that, that thinks that, yeah, they're, they're going to stay attached to somebody, but they're a fake ass, fake ass, yeah. The cord has been cut. And so with that being said, because the cord has been cut, Anybody, you know what I'm saying? Whoever this person is, let me not say anybody, but whoever this person is that, yeah, tries to continue to stay attached to somebody, that literally could be why a lot of stuff is taking place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could be seeing the angel number 222. It says people are on edge. So whoever these people are, as far as everybody knows what they did, they are on edge. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the and the and, and what's crazy is, yeah, whoever you know is resonating with this message, you're in this unbothered energy because you already know what's up. So that could be the sign that some that somebody could have already received, as far as yeah, some shit's about to hit the fan. I feel like, yeah, somebody definitely could have been set apart, you know what I mean? Because going back to the beginning of the message when I was talking about, yeah, this group and this group, yeah, somebody was already set apart or somebody was already separated. And it was because, yeah, of this situation that's about to blow up. So, yeah, the last lap belongs to you. So, yeah, like I said, the cord has already been cut. So, if this person, you know what I mean, is still trying to t stay attached... It ain't gonna it ain't gonna work out good for whoever this is. I feel like it's 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 not working out good. I feel like that their yeah, their whole life is falling apart or their whole life is being exposed. Mm-hmm. Well, there definitely is a judge that could be involved in some type of unethical actions in a legal case. And so yeah, I feel like that whoever, you know, this message is for, you're excluded. So going back to the impersonator. So if this impersonator, you know what I mean, was doing stuff to cause some type of legal case to go in their favor, I feel like, yeah, there definitely could be a judge, you know what I'm saying, that, that yeah, thought that they were going to help something go in somebody's favor. And so, yeah, there could be a judge that could be in, uh, be caught doing some unethical action. So it goes back to whoever this privileged lady is. My dad's the judge or, you know what I'm saying, my, yeah, I know people that know people that know people. Mm-hmm. Character is built on honesty, integrity, and authenticity. And so I feel like the yeah, that's some of the, the, the traits that somebody has. Somebody is honest, somebody has integrity, and somebody is very authentic. Mm -hmm. 
There's a judge's character that's shot to pieces. There's a judge that, yeah, definitely could have had some type of workplace affair uh, with somebody. Mm-hmm. It's also, too, something about, yeah, if, if somebody worked, like, uh, somewhere that somebody worked, like a past employer, um, I feel like, that yeah, they could have tried to do some unethical things to against somebody, and they could have possibly brought it to the courts, trying to get a judge involved, but, yeah. Or a judge did get involved, but, yeah, I feel like that, uh... It it, it, it it doesn't look good for whoever these people are. Somebody's first middle or last name could start with an N or an R. Somebody could be an RN, so somebody could be a nurse. Mm -hmm. Yep. Everybody knows what they did. People are on edge, and yeah. Somebody or some people are running out of gas. Because everybody knows what they did, that's another reason why, yeah, whoever these people are, they're running out of gas. But it don't matter because, yeah, a situation is about to explode. And the fact of the matter is, yeah, a leopard can't change the spots. So whoever, you know, this message is for, just know that, um, yeah, a leopard is still a leopard. They can't change into a lion, you know what I'm saying? They can't change into a tiger. Yep. You definitely do have a lot of ascend ascended masters that surround you. So, yeah. That could be another reason why people are on edge. Yeah. So, you got Archangel Ariel, Archangel Raphael. You know what I mean? You got a lot of, yeah, spiritual protection. Yeah, there are people that are falling from grace. But that's that card that I uh, uh, picked up from the floor. Mm-hmm. Wow. Somebody's name could be Henry. Yeah, we got a psychic vampire out here. So there's a psychic vampire. Um, they, yeah, they definitely could have been, uh, you know, going back to, yeah, energy trying to stay energetically attached to somebody you know what I mean to basically yeah siphon off of somebody's energy um yeah wow so yeah whoever you know this is or whoever these people are uh yeah whoever this is that yeah was sitting back and enjoying the show it's their loss they didn't show you love it's their loss I feel like uh yeah when it comes to a psychic vampire, whatever they were doing, I feel like the yeah, they're about to find out the hard way that they shouldn't have been doing, you know what I mean, whatever they were doing. Because the psychic vampire is giving me like, um, yeah, like energy draining, you know? So somebody yeah, is feeling some type of energy now. It could be because of whoever the psychic vampire is. Because, yeah, some type of cord has been cut. So whoever this is that wants to continue to try to attach to somebody or try to, you know, siphon off of somebody's energy, yeah, it gets worse and worse for whoever this person is. Mm -mm. And so, yeah, just know that your peace and happiness is definitely being restored for sure. And whoever this impersonator is that wants to be you, you know what I mean? Uh, they want, they dresses like you, tries to look like you, tries to sound like you, you know what I mean? Possibly, yeah, tries to be, have a job just like you, or you know what I mean? If you, you know, are an empath, they say that they're an empath, you know? If you are a psychic, they say that they're a psychic, you know? But it's the opposite. They're a psychic vampire. Mm hmm They hate you because they ain't you. Mm-hmm. So be aware, because somebody is, is yeah, they're, they're trying to communicate with somebody, or they're trying to, yeah, I don't know what they're trying to do, but somebody just needs to be aware. You got the angel number 555, so you could uh, be seeing the angel number 555. There is a change that's about to take place, but it's also too, yeah, whoever this is, they hate you because they ain't you, because one of the reasons is because you've changed. So yeah, you're not the same individual, you know what I'm saying? Well, you're not the same version that you used to be. You're a different version of you. A bigger, stronger, you know what I'm saying? More wiser, you know, more intelligent, you know, more grounded, more balanced. Yeah, version of you. But whatever this change is, it's about to take place. That could be a, a big 
part of why a situation is about to explode. Somebody, yeah, definitely could be, you know, like um, homeless, or that's just what somebody is is playing like that they're homeless, because this homeless card is here. Mm hmm. And it's something too about yeah, somebody being loyal to putting on a show. You know what I mean? So like loyal to you know uh, feeding people, you know, lies, or you know, loyal to yeah, like scamming people or scheming people, or you know what I mean? Loyal to. Yeah, uh, fake flexing, acting rich, or whatever the situation is. It's something about, yeah, either this person was never that way, or yeah, they could have had money, but they don't have it anymore. Mm hmm. And so, yeah, somebody needs to be aware because, yeah, somebody definitely could be trying to pressure somebody to make some type of decision. Mm hmm. So if this hasn't already happened for somebody, it's going to happen. And, and it definitely could take place by New Year's Eve. But if something happened during like a New Year's Eve, I feel like that, yeah, somebody's going to try to pressure somebody to make a decision based off of that. But I feel like, yeah, a decision has already been made. These people just don't know it. You know what I mean? The most high is, 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 is gets the, you know what I'm saying? The last laugh, to be honest. But I feel like that, yeah, whoever this message is for, because, you know what I mean, going back to the beginning of the message, you've done everything that you needed to do. Yeah, the the most high is like, yeah, I'm going to let you have the last laugh today. You know what I mean? So, yeah, somebody there's a blessing with somebody's name on it. But, yeah, we got government fraud. So I knew I was picking up, you know what I'm saying, some scheming and scamming shit. So with that being said, yeah, we got an impersonator out here. So somebody, yeah, could have been frauding the government by impersonating somebody or by doing whatever they were doing, you know, possibly, yeah, identity theft or, you know, I don't know. This could also be too, like, yeah, uh, somebody using somebody's name, you know, to get a job or, you know, but I feel like because, yeah, some stuff is going on, somebody definitely could be homeless now, you know what I mean? Or that's just what they're going to use as an excuse. Yeah, they're going to try to pressure somebody to make a decision. But I feel like a decision has already been made. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got the big finale at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, a decision has already been made. And the fact of the matter is, yeah, everybody knows what they did. Yeah, and they're in a panic. People are on edge. They're in a panic. Everybody knows what they did. So whoever that past person is, I feel like that. Um, yeah, because I was picking up that. Yeah, whoever it is, they're they're coming in. You know what I mean? They're they, they want to do something on purpose. You know what I mean? And I feel like yeah, it's pressure somebody to make some type of decision. But I feel like the yeah, uh, whoever you know is resonating with this message, they can't pressure you to do nothing. Yeah, can't nobody tell you nothing. These are the ones that could be pressured. You know what I mean? These are yeah, the punk pussy pushovers. These are the ones that are easy to manipulate or easy. You know what I mean? It's different. You know what I mean? People think yeah, so it's kind of like people yeah, whoever these people are, they look at unconditional love like you know what I'm saying, um, like. They're easy or they're green or you know what I mean? Yeah, they're 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 vulnerable, they're gullible, you know. They don't take it as it's a gift, you know? They don't take, yeah, um honesty and integrity and authenticity as a gift. They look at it as, yeah, we gonna get over on them or we gonna scheme them or we're gonna scam them. So yeah, repetitive behavior leads to an insane lifestyle. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's a lot of anger going on behind the scenes amongst a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And it's all about, yeah, somebody, somebody being stuck in a cycle. So it definitely could have something to do with this repetitive behavior and this insane lifestyle. Yeah, and the fact of the matter is, yeah, whoever this message is resonating with, you've already moved forward from manipulation. Uh, there definitely could be somebody else that could be moving forward from manipulation. Mm-hmm. 
Yep. They show fake love. Point blank in the sentence ends and period. So yeah, not showing you unconditional love is their loss. Because yeah, they've already, they showed you fake love. Whoever this person is, they showed you fake love. And so yeah, they're receiving bad news. So whoever this person is, they know that they show fake love. They purposely show fake love because yeah, they took somebody's kindness for weakness or they took somebody's character as, you know what I'm saying, a uh, punk pushy pushover. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So yeah, they're receiving bad news. And I feel like, yeah, whoever you know this message is for, you're definitely uh, going to receive some good news. But all the people that, yeah, that are on edge, that are in a panic because, yeah, or whoever's whoever they are, yeah, they're outing one another to try to get out of trouble. So be aware because I feel like that um, uh, that's what they're trying to do. So it's kind of like, yeah, whoever this person is, whether it be a masculine and feminine energy, going back to, yeah, um, when I was when I was picking up the energy that, yeah, somebody can't tell nobody nothing. Or when I was picking up the energy like, yeah, somebody's going to try to tell somebody something. Yeah, with that serving, uh, that being served, some piping hot tea, you know what I'm saying, with that beef. It's kind of like, yeah, they're trying to, you know what I'm saying, serve somebody some piping hot tea so that somebody would have beef. You know what I mean? The fact of the matter is, I feel like the, yeah, the Most High is doing some stuff. We got two archangels out here. So, yeah, there could be an archangel over there and an archangel on your side. And it's kind of like, yeah, two people are being divinely guided to come together to do something. It don't necessarily have to be a love situation. But the Most High said that these two people, they are to be divinely guided. Archangel Ariel and Archangel Raphael, this is your mission. Go, you know what I'm saying, clear this shit up real quick. So, you know what I'm saying, they can get on their mission. It's something about, yeah, two people, you know what I mean, needing to do something together and it and it's a part of yeah rewriting destiny or something about yeah history being rewritten or yeah history destiny whatever mm -hmm. wow Wow, but somebody's repetitive behavior, their insane lifestyle, possibly, yeah, made matters worse. Or the fact of the matter is, yeah, people, uh, you know, trying to out one another to get out of trouble, you know, when it comes to possibly, yeah, in some type of legal case in front of a judge, yeah, they could have made matters worse. Or they matter made matters worse because, yeah, they like to play games. So somebody likes to play love games. They're, somebody likes to play the game of control. Mm-hmm. Yep, but somebody, yeah, or yeah, somebody or some people know that they made matters worse, and it definitely could have something to do with, yeah, trying to be in control. Mm hmm. So, with that being said, yeah, it goes back to when I was picking up on, you know, like people, who, you know, talking about people, you know what I mean, like using platforms, and they say that they're spiritualists, or they say that they're tarot card readers, or they say that, yeah, they're the workers of the most high, but they get on their platforms and they use their platforms, you know, to talk about people. And so, yeah, the Most High got to show people who's in control. You know what I mean? The Most High has to show people who gets the last laugh. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, whoever you know this message is for, just know that, yeah, your your storm is over for sure. Mm -hmm. So something could take place, yeah, by New Year's Eve or something about, yeah. Um, but but I definitely did pick up on this energy when I, uh, yeah, when I channeled five Four, three, two, one. Mm -hmm. Happy New Year! So yeah, some there there is a countdown that's about to take place, or it's already started for sure. I don't know what the message. I mean, the title of that message was, but I feel like that that could have something to do with this, and maybe not. You know what I mean? I don't know, but um, y'all can go back and try to find that uh, video if y'all wanna. I, it was a couple of days ago. So, yeah. Somebody's about to receive some sad news. Bad news and sad news. Mm-hmm. And we got this. So, yeah, there definitely could be people that could be in a panic because, yeah, they're trying to out one another to get out of trouble when it comes to this. So, if, so if that took place for somebody... 
I feel like that um or it took place for some people like say yeah that was supposed to happen to somebody because it's premeditated but somebody's still standing or somebody wasn't assaulted or whatever have you or somebody definitely could have been assaulted on a New Year's Eve or something like that I feel like that yeah whatever's going on it's it's going to go in yeah whoever you know is resonating with this message is his favor people are on edge about this but it's more than just this. It's government fraud. It's this. It's, it's yeah, the Ponzi scheme or whatever scheme. The love triangle. Uh, it's a lot of stuff going on. Yep. Somebody made matters worse, yeah, by, by violating somebody's boundaries. And so, yeah, enough is enough. Mm-hmm. Wow. So, yeah, there is a big energy shift that's getting ready to take place. And so, whoever this message is for, just know that there is somebody that possibly could be coming in with some type of confession. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because whoever this is or whoever these people are, yeah, they are getting karma. And karma has no deadline. So, this New Year's Eve could be last New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve before New Year's Eve. Yeah, karma has no deadline. Everybody knows what they did. Point blank in the sentence ends a period. So whoever this is is coming with it with a confession. Be aware, because I feel like that yeah they're trying to out other people. So they're gonna try to tell you what other people did. You know, or they're yeah, and it, and it probably and it and it you know it, it literally could be um you know that they're gonna try to you know uh, tell what everybody else did but not them. Mm -hmm. Somebody somebody definitely yeah, could have a gambling problem So that's another reason why Somebody yeah, could have lost a lot of money as well mm -hmm. But yeah These people are falling from grace Or yeah there, there definitely could be some people that are falling from grace And yeah it has people on edge It has people in a panic Because they're watching people fall from grace we got an uncle, so something about somebody's uncle could be very significant. Somebody's uncle could be falling from grace. Somebody could have a life path number four. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, we got a compulsive liar, so there's a compulsive liar. That's falling from grace. Mm -mm. Wow. What else do we need to know, Holy Spirit? We got abundance. So, yeah. Whoever you know this message is for, um, yeah. Uh, Archangel Ariel it definitely is bringing in uh, spiritual and physical blessings. You are a limitless being and you can manifest whatever your heart desires in the physical reality. And so, yeah, you could already be doing that or that's literally, yeah, what's about to take place. So get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Yeah. And it's based off of, yeah, your movement, your choices and your decisions. But there's all but there's two people, you know what I mean, that, that are supposed to come together, you know what I'm saying, in the in the physical reality. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like, yeah, two people are connected spiritually, but they but it needs to manifest in the physical. Yeah, because there's a t number two on this card. And they got, yeah, they got some movements, some choices and decisions to make together to make the world a better place. Yeah, to fulfill some wishes and dreams around here. Mm-hmm. The change card fell on top of coming in with a confession. So for somebody, yeah, um... Somebody's can somebody's story has changed or somebody's confession is changing. So it could it could go from yeah somebody yeah basically telling lie to telling the truth. You know what I mean? But yeah, somebody had had the, has the, had the courage. You know what I'm saying? To yeah walk in their purpose. That's why somebody yeah is about to receive this abundance. That's why somebody has a, a blessing with their name on it. Yeah, somebody definitely has the inner strength to face their fear with confidence. And somebody yeah knows what they're here to do. Somebody knows yeah what their purpose is. 
So yeah, there definitely could be somebody that could have already walked away or there's somebody that, yeah, could be walking away. So it goes back to, yeah, uh, whoever, you know, is resonating with this message, uh, somebody mirroring you. You know what I mean? Well, we have the throat chakra. So, uh, yeah. Some type of change in communication is getting ready to take place. Mm-hmm. But it's also, too, with the throat chakra and the courage, with the purpose, yeah. Somebody definitely could be a truth speaker, especially with this thinking woman at the bottom of the deck. So somebody definitely, yeah, could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Mm-hmm. Well, we have moving on. So, yeah, somebody could also, yeah, receive some communication. You know what I mean? The storm is over. Yeah. Something about, yeah, somebody being able to move on. Uh, somebody could be uh, 27 years old. Somebody could be born in 1972. Somebody could be 56 years old, 65, born in 1956 or 1965. Somebody's life path number could be number five or number six. Mm-hmm. And then we have Archangel Gabriel. And so, yeah, throat chakra. Wow. There's people that, yeah, they don't want somebody to, you know what I'm saying, fulfill their purpose. They don't want somebody to communicate stuff. You know what I mean? So that could be another reason why, you know what I mean? Maybe somebody, yeah, is coming in, whoever this is, is coming in with a confession. They're basically going to tell somebody that, yeah, we didn't want you communicating this or we didn't want, you know what I'm saying? It's something about, yeah, somebody being an empath, somebody having spiritual gifts and somebody, yeah, communicating. It's a lot of throat chakra energy. There definitely, yeah, could have been people that could have been trying to, yeah, mess with somebody's throat chakra. Because I definitely was picking up, yeah, something about the throat chakra the other day. My throat kept having an itchy feeling in it and I kept coughing, you know what I mean? But I take allergy medicine. So it's kind of like, yeah, uh, I knew that um, someone right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whoever you know is resonating with this message. Going back to yeah, somebody psyching themselves out. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You know what you are here to do. You know what I'm saying? And, and keep having faith. You know what I'm saying? Keep holding on to hope. You know what I mean? Um, everything is going to work out the way that it's supposed to work out. Just know that. But, but yeah, it's it's too, yeah, people are definitely hoping, you know what I mean, that you'll walk away. So, going back to, yeah, I'm just going to use me as, as an example. I'm not everybody's cup of tea. There's a lot of people that possibly are like, yeah, I wish that they would just stop. You know what I mean? I wish that they would just quit talking, you know, because I heard somebody said that, yeah, I'm bland. Dry eyes, itchy eyes. I probably am. You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm not doing it for you know what I'm saying. I'm doing. I'm. I'm here to get the message out. You know what I'm saying? And my bad if I'm dry. Go go listen to somebody else that ain't dry. You know what I mean? There's plenty of other people to listen to that ain't dry. Uh, I'm here to do work. I'm not here to put put on a show. You know what I mean? A lot of people want to put on a show. And you know when it comes to a show, of course you know they add stuff, they they improv, you know what I mean. And they could, you know what I'm saying, uh, be intuitive. They could be empaths. They could, you know what I mean, have spiritual, you know what I'm saying, abilities. But at the same time, yeah, they put icing on the cake. They put sprinkles on the cupcake. You know what I mean? I'm not that person. And so, yeah. So there are people that, yeah, they want a show. You know what I mean? They want, you know, um, this ain't TV. You know. Uh, this is this ain't Zeus Network. This ain't Netflix, you know. But there are people that do put on shows. You know what I'm saying? They do clickbait. You know, people. You know, they'll put these dramatic titles, and the titles don't got nothing to do with with what the message is or what the video is about. You know what I mean? I'm not one of those people. I'm honest. I'm full of integrity, and I'm very authentic. And so, yeah. Those that don't like it, or those that you know what I'm saying, don't come over here. What you over here for? So, yeah, people are hoping that, yeah, somebody walks away. They're hoping I walk away. They're hoping that you walk away. They're hoping that you give up. You know what I mean? Yeah, but they made matters worse. So whoever these people are, they made matters worse. Yeah, you're going to continue to get the victory and success that you're destined to, to get. Mm-hmm. Yep. Wow. Something about human resources. Somebody could work uh, in human resources. 
or something about yeah going back to the the job or the the workplace mm-hmm somebody could yeah work in the hospital as a RN or nurse mm-hmm Wow so whoever you know this message is for just know you know what I mean that there is a blessing with your name on it and Archangel Ariel is definitely bringing in spiritual and physical blessings <coughs> there goes that throat um, and yeah as I always say y'all um, keep your head held high and your middle finger higher and everything's gonna work out with that being said that's been your message please like share and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon